गाइस दिस इज डेली विश हर थैंक यू सो मच फॉर कमिंग बैक ऑन माय चैनल एंड आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग ऑसम ऑल राइट सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डिमांडिंग टॉपिक व्हिच इज हाउ टू मैनिफेस्ट मल्टीपल डिजायर्स एट वन टाइम ऑफ कोर्स यू कैन यू नो मैनिफेस्ट एनीथिंग दैट यू वांट ऑफ कोर्स यू कैन मैनिफेस्ट एनी नंबर ऑफ डिजायर्स दैट यू वांट देयर इज नो लिमिटेशन टू मैनिफेस्टिंग एनीथिंग दैट यू वांट बट बिफोर वी एंटर इनटू दैट पार्ट ऑफ of uh, the video let's understand why it is very difficult for some of us to imagine this idea of having multiple desires at one time okay uh so the only reason why you are not able to do multiple things at one time as in like able to manifest multiple things at one time is your lack of faith okay lack of faith in the process of creation lack of faith in your own powers okay and lack of faith in um, knowing that you are the god of your reality the only thing that you need to understand and embrace is the state of knowing that you are the creator of your reality and there is nothing above you in your 3d reality when you accept this fact wholeheartedly when you have no doubts about it when you are not questioning your own powers when there is nothing which can stop you from getting what you want because you know that persistence is the key and your only reality is your 4d reality which is your imagination when you have the you know this kind of clarity in your mind literally there are no barriers because now there is no limiting belief now you are not um, going back to your old story right so before manifesting anything be it one desire or multiple desires the only thing that you should be focusing upon is the fact that you are the creator of your reality and i am not the only one who's saying this because if if you go by neville goddard's uh, teaching he also said the same thing that you are the god of your reality and which in result gives you the power to create anything in your 3d reality through what through the power of your thoughts your beliefs and your assumptions so you as an individual you have the power to create anything that you want so for manifesting anything first you need to accept yourself as the god of your reality and when you do that it is going to empower you recognizing that you are the god of your reality it gives you that strength to take the full responsibility of your life and your experiences not only that it also shifts the focus from being a passive victim of all the circumstances from coming from 3d reality to being an active creator of your own destiny am i right or wrong so yes you do have the power to shape your reality according to your desires and um, you are always in control and when you are in this state of knowing you also know that understanding you are the god of your reality it also emphasizes the significance of your thoughts beliefs and assumptions so every time you are uh, being aware of your internal dialogue your inner talk uh, and the and the quality of your thoughts you are being aware of all these things right so now consciously choosing empowering and positive thoughts you are basically doing what you are aligning your mind mindset with your desires the wish that you want to manifest you are aligning yourself with that yes every time you have this question no that um, i i'm doing everything but then again you know sometimes i feel so negative that i doubt myself i doubt whether this is going to work or not i you know i fear uh, for my outcome when you have these kind of negative things you should know that you haven't accepted this fact wholeheartedly that you are the creator of your reality in fact there's another point which i want to mention here as a god of your reality you do have the ability to choose how you perceive and interpret events and situations of your life so you can choose to see challenges as opportunities for growth and learning of course or you can choose to see any challenges coming your way as the biggest hurdle in the progress of your growth okay it is totally up to you how you want to see the things in your life 
life so you can choose to focus on the positive aspect of any situation to you know to create that kind of mindset and this shift in perception is definitely going to impact the overall experience of your manifestation process okay and this is another point um, most of us are also having this issue no that uh, um, i don't know whether my imagination creates my reality or not when you accept this for a fact that you are the creator of your reality and as a creator your only world is your 4d world which is your imagination you know that anything that i create in that imaginal world of mine it is what is going to get created in the physical world because now there is no doubt now you have accepted this new post as a creator now you are uh, very much uh, you know aware of your own powers that yes the creation is always happening and it is always happening because of my internal belief system because of my chosen thoughts because of my new assumption when you are believing that you are the god of your reality then you are never going to doubt your own creation so that is why the only thing which you should be emphasizing upon is knowing that you are the creator of your reality when you accept it as a fact then there is nothing which you cannot manifest okay so yes this is one of the point which i wanted to discuss the you know importance of this point and it also reminds you your about your inherent power and uh, the creative capacity you know when you have this kind of knowledge going on that you are the creator of your reality you believe in your own powers right it just en- encourages you to step into that role as a conscious creator of your life and it enables you to manifest your desires and live a fulfilling life so yes this was the point now moving on to the main point which is how you can manifest multiple desires at one time so the number one thing is to have a clarity of your desires so yes make a list of all the desires that you want to manifest be very very specific and clear about what what you want to achieve or experience in fact if you are more interested uh, in writing them down that would be great so please write them down in a, in, a, in of course the present tense which is affirmative statement as if it has already happened so just imply that whatever you wish for it's already happened in your life and now you are enjoying this moment that's number one part and it is the most important pe- part because if you are not having the clarity uh, you would always you know go back and forth back and forth and there is something new always coming up in your life which you want and then the next day there's something else so please be very very clear about what you want that's number 1 now moving on to the second important point which is you need to imagine the end result now this is the most inter- interesting part now you need to create a mental picture or a mental movie a scene in uh, your mind that represents the fulfillment of all your desire simultaneously so yes you need to visualize yourself experiencing the desired outcomes with all your five senses feeling all the emotions associated with their fulfillment and be in this moment enjoy this moment let me give you an example here let's say you want to have a big nice beautiful car okay plus you want to have um, a nice you know senior position at a big brand of a company right and you want to have a nice uh, beautiful girl as in like your sp in your life who loves you like anything plus you have a big house um that you want to manifest they, these are four different different desires but yes when you are crafting a scene all you need to do here is just imagine that you have a big nice office and you are leaving that office uh with the you know full satisfaction that yes you have done your work your your entire day was very productive and uh, with this kind of uh, you know satisfaction you are moving downstairs and now you are sitting in your favorite car you can feel the steering of the car you can see the color of the car you can even listen to the music that you want to play in your favorite car so yes that is another uh, part of the scene and while driving you are meeting your sp where in you are meeting her and you are greeting her you are hugging her you are kissing her and she is telling you how much she loves you how much she missed you all day long so of course you are going to listen 
listen to uh, her words and you are going to feel so happy that yes you are you know the love of your life is sitting next to you and uh, she is so much in love with you these are the things you are going to enjoy while driving right and the final destination is your big house that you always dreamt of so you both are stepping out of the car you are moving inside your house and now you are you know standing at the balcony sipping the coffee together and you are looking at the nice beautiful view and just holding hands and just you know enjoying this moment of being together in your dream house and since you do have a nice you know amazing lucrative job you have the sense of financial stability and your favorite car is downstairs so you are looking at it and you are just in the state of fulfillment that whatever you always wanted it is already there right in this moment so this could be one scene which implies that all all your desires are fulfilling in the scene plus you are feeling out of the world because everything that you always wanted is present in your life right now now the only thing which i want to you know emphasize here is please 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 do not get into the trap of how and when this is not your job it is not your job to figure out how it's going to happen it is going to happen it is going to happen a period when you cultivate a deep sense of belief and this you know strong conviction that your desires have already been fulfilled the law of assumption is bound to work effectively okay so your only job is to focus on the feeling of uh, you know of this wish fulfillment and the faith that your desires are already a part of your reality and why they are the part of your rea- reality because you have created them and who are you you are the god of your reality are you getting my point once you have felt the fulfillment of all your desires you can repeat this imaginal act of yours for seven Several night. So once you have entered the state of wish fulfilled, throughout your day, uh, consciously you can assume the state of wish fulfilled. Like you know, you can just daydream about it. Whatever you have imagined last night, right? You can even act and think and even feel as if all your desires have already been manifested. This includes your thoughts. This includes your self talk and overall attitude towards your you know towards your three D reality. So whenever you are consistent. simply reinforcing that belief that your desires are already yours you are not doubting your own powers you are always you know going back to that imaginal act of yours where you have achieved everything that you always wanted this is going to give you the control of conscious mind and there would be lesser doubts there would be less fear and you are 100% in commitment with your imaginal act and last but not the least here is persist persist until this imaginal act of yours comes into your 3d reality so yes you need to practice consistency and persistence in maintaining the state of wish fulfilled so whenever doubts or negative thoughts arise just replace them with positive affirmation here comes the role play of affirmation so you can just you know write down at least two to three affirmations which are desired based affirmation plus you can also add at least you know two to three blanket affirmations which is going to help you in improving your self image self concept and when you are you know committed to your assumption regardless of what is going on in your 3d reality this is what is going to bring all of your desire into your 3d reality in its physical form so yes you your only job is to completely ignore the 3d no matter what the you know situation is telling you just stick by your imagination just stick by your new assumption that's what is going to give you whatever you want and once you have done everything once you are there in the point of saturation once you have achieved the uh, you know the imaginal act of yours as your new reality now it is the time to let it go now let go means you are not doubting your own imagination you are not doubting your own powers you are just letting it go you are not worried about it anymore once you have felt the fulfillment of this you know multiple desires of yours you are now in the state of knowing that it is done it is done you don't have to worry about it you don't have to think about it you don't have to look for it in the 3d 
at this point you are now moving on to get another desire to get the experience of a different desire because now you are having the sense of satisfaction and complete fulfillment coming from all the multiple desires that you always wished for to have in your life are you understanding what i'm trying to say so this is the whole process of manifesting multiple desires and i'm pretty much sure this video has helped you a lot if you are planning to manifest multiple desires as i've told you please write those things down that is going to confirm what you want in your life and be very patient as i've told you please do not think about the how and the when be very patient know that everything is working out for you all always and always you don't have to worry about anything as neville goddard has said you do not even have to lift a finger to get your desire the only thing that he has asked us to do is to have faith in the unseen so yes this was today's video i hope you like today's video in case if you did do not forget to give it a big fat thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel as i come up with lots and lots of interesting uh, stuff based on neville goddard's teaching and if you are willing to get daily do of Neville please do follow me on my Instagram my Instagram handle is my daily wish and you are going to get lots and lots of different different insights which is going to motivate you in the process of manifestation on daily basis so that is there plus if you are willing to get one to one coaching with me the July slots are open you can come and enroll the one to one session with me please DM me for the details and I'm there to help you out so yes this was uh, it and uh, I'm gonna meet you very very soon in the next video but before i go please do like share and subscribe do not forget to give it a big fat thumbs up and i'll be meeting you very soon in the next video until then please do take care of yourself and happy manifesting